And I'll never forget when I was going to the tournament, one young lady called out the window and said, Matt, I said, bring home the baker. I said, I go try very hard. And I never, I, I never did get to know her, but she was from Tidewater. And she said, bring home the baker. And I said, I thought about that when I was behind and wanted to match her play. But uh, it, 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 1942 and Well, for a small private school on the north side of Richmond, the capital of the Confederacy, to produce a major winner in men's tennis is, was something that was unheard of before, before Mr. McDaniel did it. I don't believe Virginia Union placed any higher than third or fourth in the history of the CIAA tennis tournament. It was played in Lincoln University, and that's 200 miles from Richmond. And we ran into a terrible uh, rainstorm in London, thunder and lightning. And one of the youngest players said, say, Coach, say, pull over there under that big tree. Say, I'm scared. Y'all don't know how scared I am. And another fella said, no, you don't park on a tree when it's storming. And uh, we had to slow down to 20 miles per hour so we could see. And uh, we finally arrived at uh, Lincoln University. And when we arrived, we saw six or seven fellas standing on the sidewalk. And all of them had on jackets, and three of them had on long raincoats. And uh, the fella said, uh, where are you from? I said, Virginia Union, Richmond. He said, well, you got to go, go uh, lot, I mean, sign up in the, the building right there to, the, to your right, the first room to the right. And, uh, and the fellow said, when you sign up, make sure you get a blanket. This is the first week in May. We said, blanket? He said, yeah. And the fellow said, I thought there was something funny. I saw six or seven fellas standing out the front. And all of them had on jackets and three of them had on long raincoats. And this is the first week in May. And uh, they had to play. I was the only one from nine colleges that had long white trousers. The dream team was the 1938-39 Virginia Union basketball team. And they were the second consecutive CIAA championship team that we had here at VUU. And the debate raged, which is a better team, the national championship, which is the NIT champion in those days, or a CIAA school, Virginia Union. So Virginia Union scheduled two games with the NIT champion, Long Island University, one up in New York and one in, Phil in Philadelphia. They lost the one in Philadelphia. Then they went to New York and they won and this sent shockwaves throughout the nation. Nobody expected this small private school, a small black school, to beat the national champion. In 1966, Texas Western beat University of Kentucky with five starters, five African-American starters. First time that had ever happened, people said. It's not the first time it happened. It happened in 1939 with Virginia Union. People don't remember that.